Horticultural sciences is the study of intensive plant cultivation for human use, from a garden to a multinational corporation, including all production aspects as well as physiological processes involved in the production of fruit and cut flowers. The field is diverse and covers plants for food and non-food crops. We improve the production of top quality products to deliver the best possible product to the market. Being in the Western Cape, it helps a lot because we have citrus, we've got exposure to the citrus fruit of lake. We also do avocados and then we also do stone fruit. And some new crops would be almonds and pecans. So it's an ideal area to get exposure to all these different crop kinds if you want to study horticulture. So we teach you in terms of plant manipulation. Um, I think you will later see in the orchard that the apple tree looks very different than what it would grow naturally. Um, and that needs to be done by a horticulturist to get that right. And the tree shape, etc., improves production, the quality of the fruit. Yeah, and, and similarly, we do the same with cut flowers. Yes, what we try and do is in the third year, we expose the students to this kind of setup where we have a small orchard system so that they can see what the different crops look like. They have a little exposure to irrigation, to management practices. And they also integrate the management practices with the physiology, where they have to come to the farm, select an orchard, and then look at the developmental process of a crop, where they look at the phenological development, they look anything from bud burst to full bloom, they look at whether the crop needs pollination, whether there are bees, and then look at maturity, and in the end also harvesting. So they can follow the whole process of a, a crop, so that will introduce them to what happens in practice, even if they come from Joburg. Becoming a horticulturist, what is really great is that you've got a lot of job opportunities because you learn about a lot of different crops. And my rule of thumb is that if you have a lot of crop types that you are capable of working with, then you have a lot of different job opportunities. There are quality managers, for example, that deal with export fruit, making sure that the whole logistic chain holds true from the farm right through to the end consumer. So we talk from farm to fork. And that is very often what people don't think about. There's a pre-harvest component, a post-harvest component for every single crop that you get. Um, fruit need to be exported and typically then there needs to be a cold chain that gets maintained because fruit need to get kept, uh, kept cold um, to retain that quality. Then we have um, students that work for chemical companies, uh, fertilizing companies, and we actually have uh, uh, people working in the supermarket as well where they check the quality again of the flowers, make sure that the production um, techniques are environmentally friendly as far as possible and that this quality is maintained. For me, it's an exciting field because you learn about a lot of these different crop types. The fact that there is an industry behind you, so whatever you study in horticulture, there are job opportunities and, and you are involved in, in solving real life problems. And that to me is where the exciting part sits. Food security is a cornerstone of human existence and studying horticultural science, you can be the forefront of one of the most challenging issues ever to face our planet please visit our website for full details.